Do you have a poster wall in the way? Is it load bearing? Do you need to add a beam? Stay tuned, we'll answer those questions. Taking out a structural beam can be dangerous to your house if not done properly. So let's guide you through the steps on how to take one out safely to add open space to your home. Why would you add a beam? Well, for one, you can have a post or a wall that's holding up the structural integrity of your house, your roof, or any structures above it. So in adding a beam, what you do is you spread that load over the length of the beam, and so it opens up the space underneath it and you can take away any posts or load-bearing walls. How do you add a beam? Well, you start by adding temporary walls to support your current structure. Those walls are most normally set a foot or two back on each side to support the weight of the house or roof structure above. Then you take out the existing beam and posts or structural wall. Then you have to bring in the new beam, lift it into place on each end and support it. And once it's supported and everything's tied in structurally, then you can take away those temporary walls and start to finish out the space. So what did we do in this project? For this project, we had a garage that had a support post right in the middle of the garage. What it did is it caused problems for pulling into the garage, car doors would hit it easily. It didn't have a lot of space in the garage because of the post in the center. So what we did is we came in, we added the temporary wall on one side because that's where the house structure is on the other side. Then we took the existing beam and central post out. We cleared the way for the new posts on each end of the wall. We added footings on one end to support the structural load. And then we came in and we carefully added the beam, brought it in, and then we set the post up structurally. And now we'll go ahead with tying in the extra screws and structural bracing and brackets. And once all the structural items have been tied in and finished, then we can go and take out this temporary wall. And once that's all out, it'll open up the whole garage to be able to be used freely without the hindrance of the center post. What if you wanna open up some space in your house, but don't know if any of your walls or posts are structural or load bearing? Check the link in the description below. It can help you identify structural or load bearing walls but always talk to a professional. They can help guide you through the engineering, permit system, and how to do it completely safe. Continue to inform yourself and stay tuned for more expert advice and guidance on how to guide you through your remodeling process.